who else used their teeth? Everything. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. But I use my teeth for everything. Okay. I'm excited. Like I said, I know I'm late to the party. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hey y'all, this is a melanin hair care review, kinda. I'm not reviewing her whole entire line, but this is my first time ever trying any of her products. I know that I have talked about Whitney Natural 85, the OG, triple OG of the YouTube natural hair community, a lot of, in my other videos, and it's kinda sad that I've never tried out her products before, but in my defense, this year I have been on a natural hair, budget i guess like i'm not spending a lot of money my budget was 50 dollars for the year and i must say that i did go over my budget but <laughs> that is the item that cost my budget will cost me to go over my budget so by purchasing her item that is what took me over the 50 dollar limit and obviously purchasing some other products that were bad so uh 50 dollars doesn't go far in a year and as you can see we are in by the time you guys see this video uh, October. Yeah, I, I almost made it, you know, but, uh, you know, couldn't get there. So I don't think I'll be on such a strict budget next year, but enough talking about my budget and how I wasn't able to keep it. <laughs> Let's get into this review. This is the product that I am going to be reviewing today. This is the only product that I purchased of the products that she offers because remember I told y'all I was on a $50 budget, which means I was not going to go crazy. I mean, I did go over the budget, but I ain't go over that much. Like, I literally went over by like a couple dollars. And I was like, okay. So my intent was not to buy, uh, she, well, you know what? I take that back. I actually did want to, she has what a, um, a, le a multi-purpose leave-in or something like that. I did want to purchase it. The thing is, it was sold out. And to be honest with you, the only reason why I did decide to splurge, because this was a splurge, was because she actually had a sale, which I have never seen Melanin Hair Care do at all. Since Natural 85 came out with the company, I cannot remember a time, even during Black Friday, did she like do any type of sales. Like I think like her products have always been just the regular price. And if you want to try them out, you're just going to pay the regular price. So when I saw that she had a sale, which I think it was 25% off, all I know is I didn't pay full price for this. That's all I know. Let me look it up because I feel bad that I don't know how much I paid. But she, it, her stuff is just expensive. So the twist elongating style cream is $16.99. Discount was 20% off and which amounts to absolutely nothing. The shipping was is high. It's like one standard rate, which is $10. Needless to say, I could have just got, oh, actually I wouldn't have got the discount. It actually probably really wasn't worth it. I could have gone to Ulta and got this. Actually, I paid more money because it cost me $10 to ship. And if I just went out of that Ulta, it would have been the same amount. It would have been less, obviously, because you have to pay for shipping. So I just said all that to just say absolutely nothing. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, before I get started, you know since this is the first time, oh, my nails match. I really do love the color of her package. It just is very, um, I don't know, it's it's very me. Because this is like my go-to favorite color of like all of my things. As you can see, my comb matches. Like I have a lot of stuff this color. My African washcloth is that color too. I have to think about what the actual, what the name of it is. Okay, I can't get this open. So, who else used their teeth for everything? I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. But I use my teeth for everything. Okay, I'm excited. Like I said, I know I'm late to the party. Uh-uh. Um, it just smelled like shea butter. Like, that's it. It, it smells like shea butter. I hate shea butter. I absolutely, positively, 1000% hate the way shea butter smells. I have not watched a lot of videos, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Because the way I feel is like, well, I was going to try the product regardless. So it was like never just something that I would had to do. But I should have watched some videos first because I would have been like, oh hell no. This is going to be an interesting I don't know. We will be doing 
three, three strand flat twists. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna try something different and I'm gonna try a deep, deep side part because my thought is that if I do a really deep side part and then bring all the hair, after the hair dries, bring, bring all the hair back over, it'll have a lot of volume is my thought process. Okay, let's see how I like the texture. Um, I just cannot believe this smells like straight shea butter. I don't know, I feel like this is gonna weigh my hair down. I'm starting to think I'm not gonna like this. I won't say that it feels like it's greasy, but it's kind of something that I'm not used to. Okay, so I just brought this back behind my ear. Cause it's gonna be a lot of hair on the other side of my head. And yeah. And then I'm gonna start three, three strand twisting. This is a really small thin twist. I don't know y'all, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna like this. I already do not like the smell. What the, I already don't like the smell. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this is like one of your favorite products because actually I don't even feel like doing because I don't think my hair is gonna come out cute. I don't even feel like doing a, a, a three strand twist on the rest of my hair. I, I just I just got discouraged. <laughs> Y'all know what this is reminding me of when I'm like feeling it on my hands? It is reminding me of Shea Moisture Curling Hand Smoothie. That's what it is reminding me of, and I absolutely hate those products. Those products weigh my hair down, and they just don't do it. They don't do anything for me. Like, like me and Shea Butter, we just—I can't even say we have a love-hate relationship. We have just a hate-hate relationship. Like it, like Shea Butter has never. Look at me. I'm messing up now. My God, Shea Butter has never been one of my go-to. It just—it's greasy feeling. It just. I cannot believe this is a whole lot of product that I have to get rid of. I don't know. I mean, looking at the texture of it, it's creamy, it's kind of, it's silky, it's stank, you know? And, I, and to me it's stank because I don't like the way shea butter smells, so. <sighs> let's, let's get to it. Let's, let's do it. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do regular twists cause I don't know now. Cause I need to get through this pretty quickly. And um, I'll let y'all know <laughs> how long it's gonna take me. And that's, I'm about to get in the mirror and get, get to it. Three hours later. Okay, no, it hasn't been three hours, but I really forgot how long it takes to do a twist out. Like, and mind y'all, I don't even do like the ones where like girls do individual twists. I don't know how y'all do it because I'm not gonna be twisting my hair for hours. It's not gonna happen. But. I don't know. So as you can see, I have my deep part. <sighs> and we're gonna see because once it dries, then I'll end up shifting all of this hair on this side. We'll shift over to that side. It's my thought process. But I don't know. I just really don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm still thrown off that it has so much shea butter in it. It's just basically shea butter. I just looked. <laughs> I'm not gonna count it out, you know, because I haven't seen the final results. I might really, really love my hair. Show you guys how much I use. There we go. Yeah, so I did not use a ton by the looks of it. This is gonna last me a very long time. So for it to be $16.99, I mean, you get what you pay for, but I would just like a smaller container. Like, I'm not, I don't need, I don't know, like, I don't want this much. Like I, I think this is too much product, and I don't, and I don't want it. I just don't want it. So, I would love a eight ounce jar would do good for me, like a tester, you know, like a little sample or something. So I won't spend or waste my money on something that I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. But uh, that's just my two cents, you know. I know a lot of people love it, so I don't know. I. I like products that have a scent or fragrance to it, and I do get it. Like, I know you're probably like, what do you expect? I mean, majority of the videos when 
Whitney used to make natural hair videos. She was doing DIYs, like she was making products so that were natural. So did I really expect her to have some type of artificial scent or fragrance added onto her product? Nah, um, it just don't really seem like something she would do. I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair air dry and I will come back to y'all with the final result tomorrow which is gonna be like in two seconds for you. So. As y'all remember, I think I showed y'all, I did four twists. This side is just hanging down too long, so. I was just going to weigh my hair down, but whatever. Oh my God. And the curl is just terrible, but can y'all see the buildup and the flakes? Probably not yet, there you go. Flakes and the buildup. Obviously, it's not like a ton, and I don't actually see it on the hair itself. Okay, that one looks better. I don't see it on the hair itself, but I put too much product on the base or the ends of the hair, so I'll know that next time. This one came out looking okay, and one more. All right, well, I don't know. Y'all know I kind of stopped being hopeful. Ugh. I stopped being hopeful a while ago. <laughs> so let's get to taking these down and see what happens. Here are my final results. Let me know what you guys think. I ended up just leaving my hair just the way it was and I didn't end up flipping it over. I don't know, I just don't know how I feel. It is super defined and also very shiny. So that is a plus. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. As always, I'm a little different and different is love. See you in the next one.